right, I'm just on the way to a stadium in Sikkim. It's called Paljor Stadium. And I'm going to talk to you about the importance of connections in football. Oh, taxi. <laughs> Didn't understand that, but I think they were giving it to him for his poor shot. So this guy's selling tea. 10 rupees for some tea. Thanks, boss. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's actually quite cold up here, so this tea is fantastic. It's 10 rupees, so that is less than 50 cents ringgit. So this is a beautiful stadium in the foothills of the Himalayas and actually I'm puffing to walk up them steps. Uh, Sikkim is I think 12,000 meters, not 12,000, 1,200 meters, 12,000 would be dead, 1,200 meters um, high, the elevation and the air is quite thin especially when you're doing something strenuous like football. So a few years back there used to be a team that competed in the, uh, I think it was the Super League, Indian Super League from here. I think it was Sikkim FC and the coach was an Australian. I actually know him and it's funny, now I'm visiting this stadium. And it's crazy to actually get to the stadium. There's no airport up in the hills here. You have to get to the airport which is I think four or five hours from here, Bagdogra, if I pronounce that cor correctly. And then to fly to another part of India for a game, it's actually a lot of travel. Same like Indonesia. Indonesia is such a big place and there's so many small islands, so to travel from one island to the other, sometimes you need two or three flights. In my footballing career, I've met many players from overseas and I've built really good relationships with them. And, you know, whenever I go to their country, they always welcome me to stay at their house. They show me around the city. And likewise, when they come visit me, I'll take care of them. And that's because we've built a good relationship when we played football together before. And, you know, some football players, they're arrogant and they don't like to mix with others. And it's a real shame because you never know in the future you could help out uh, a, an ex-teammate or likewise, they could help you out. So if you remember back a couple videos when I was interviewing Mustafa in Cambodia, he actually signed a contract there because he had a friend from Cambodia that was playing in Malaysia that sent the CV of his to a coach and he went for a trial and he signed a contract there. And that was all because he had made this friend in Malaysia. The number one question that I get from you guys is how do I find a football team? How do I get contacts? And like I said, the most important thing is you need to build relationships. And that's through contacting players that are playing in the leagues here. And through that way, you can find agents and then they might be able to help you. And you build all these networks so that it's easier to find teams in the future. When I first came to Thailand, when I was 21 or 22, I only knew one person in the football scene in Asia. One person. So you can just imagine it was quite difficult finding a football team at the start. But over the years I've met so many good people, got really good friends now and I know so many different agents and football players in different countries. So it makes it so much easier to find a football team if I went to a different country. And that's all because of networking and being friendly to people, meeting new people and that's what you should always do. Now this may sound like common sense, but trust me, I've met a lot of players that don't mix around. I remember meeting some Korean players in Thailand and they just kept to themselves. They wouldn't mix with other players. And that's a real shame because when you meet other people, you learn so much and it's such a good thing to build relationships with people. And yeah, I don't understand some people sometimes, but yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. 
Okay, I'll finish off this video because the sun's going down. I was just reflecting on my years in football and the majority of teams that I have found are through a friend of a friend or a friend who knows an agent or an agent who knows a friend and it's all because of networking relationships and this is the biggest thing that's going to help you in your football career. So always be open, always respect people and yeah, get out there and mix. Ciao guys, until next time, see ya.